we need to have in mind is like between the legs you never lean forward okay we just lean forward on the half guard of side control okay or of course in mount so here guys if i'm between the legs look guys one example Put the left hip over here, get a step in my hip, go lift for me, go lift, yep, okay, come back, I'm very light, okay, because my, my chest is ahead of my hip, so here look, okay, same person, go lift for me, okay, he don't go anymore, because my weight is not on him, if my weight is on him, okay, it's like against me, my weight is on me, always, okay, right here, so go work, please, guys, always that. Okay, the weight is on me, all right? Always heavy. So right here, guys, as soon as I pass this guy, okay, guys, we have side control. The only way he will have to, to replace a guy is if he's like sideways, okay? When you're standing, guys, it's very easy, like elbows in, moving right here, again. if you're boxing on the ground, the only way you have to walk is gonna be like moving the hip. If I box against somebody, guy, who don't move, okay, I go around, then I cannot count them. In Jiu Jitsu, if I fight against somebody who don't move the hip, I go around and I can pass the guard easy. So when I have side control, his, his frame just work if he's sideways, okay? So right here, look, I cannot grab the head, I cannot go on the hook. So if his back is flat, I can go on the hook, I can grab the head, okay? So right here, guys, as soon as I pass his guard, using my hip, his back is flat on the ground, okay? Right here. All right here. The only problem right now is gonna be, guys, this frame right here. Okay, he, he can push me back. Okay, and then like, I can start moving the hip and then like, replace the guy. So, I have this on the hook, but, but I still have this one. Some people try to pull right here. Okay, bro, keep, keep your elbow down, please. Okay, he's like, very strong right here. So look, I do it different. So here, look, I gonna place my hand on my hip, drive my hip forward and then back. Right now, look, look is when I catch his hand. So I push down, trap with my knee. Now I switch, okay? If his hand is right here, guys, front of my head, we have Americana shoulder lock. Let's work when his hand is right here, okay? We don't have Americana. So when I gotta bring him to me, set. We have a Kimura. If he bring his arm down, okay, we don't have a Kimura. Boom, I have a straight arm lock right here. So let's try guys both, okay? So the most important is look, boom, you have already like on the hook, toes on the ground, drive forward. If my toes, if my foot is flat like this, okay, it's when I cannot push forward. If I need his, his back flat on the ground, I need to keep pushing forward. So he look, place your hand right here, drive forward, back. I want you to keep him guys sideways, right here. To don't allow him to drop his hand, I want you to keep my, my weight back right here, look. And now I'm holding his, his wrist. Outside the hand. Okay, I hold his elbow. Americana grip. Now look, I want you to put his elbow guys, on his lower back. Now I need to look toward him. Yes, yeah, sit right here. If I take this leg out, go sit up. Yes, come back. So keep this leg on top right here. Here's when I can swim in. If you want to go a little bit farther right here, if he drop his arm, okay? Okay guys, when I don't have a Kimura shoulder lock, I'm gonna just pass my leg over his body, rotate, now, now his arm fight against my body, okay? So always use big muscle against small muscle, okay? So his arm is going to show me my body. One more time. If you can posture up, Kimura. If he should show, bring his arm down. Straight arm lock. Alright guys, let's go to three.